Oh, hey, how are you doing? It's Alex Sanger with Keller Williams Capital Properties, your professional realtor here in the heart of Montgomery County in Rockford, Maryland, and we service the entire Washington, D.C. metro area. Today, we have a special Facebook Live for everybody, and we're gonna push this out onto Instagram and on YouTube and everywhere because this is a really, really great topic. It is called The Deal. And the deal right now is not what you might think. Um, a lot of people ask me questions about how the math works with, um, with real estate. Um, and the fact of the matter is, is that I actually have an applied mathematics degree. So I wanted to take a moment to explain some of the math about the current market in real estate in a way that everybody can kind of understand. Um, go ahead, next slide. So the question we are always asked is, is it a good time to buy or sell? What do you think? Is it a good time to buy or is it a good time to sell? With the coronavirus happening, a lot of things are kind of messing things up. People just don't know what to think. And the truth of the matter is, it's time for both. Both? How can that be? How can it be possible to be a good time to buy and a good time to sell? It's counterintuitive, right? You typically think, oh, it's a seller's market, it's a buyer's market, or it's a balanced market. The fact of the matter is, is that the deal that we're talking about is actually in the interest rate that we're dealing with right now in um, the economy, quite frankly. Um, let's go to the next one. So let's look at the stats. So first we have to get up some baseline statistics so that when we talk about the numbers, we're actually like using reality and not just making up stuff. So the first number that we want to look at is we want to go back a year ago, so 2019. In July, because that's the latest statistics we have. We have statistics from July of 2020, so we're going to compare it to July of 2019. So back in July of 2019, the average home sale price in Montgomery County, Maryland, and we're just using Montgomery County, Maryland, so in your specific market, it might be slightly different, and I would definitely say if you're not in Maryland or D.C., and you can talk to me about this, let me know. I can hook you up with an agent in your local market that can kind of go walk you through the same thing. So in Montgomery County, Maryland, we know that the median sales price, so if you take all the low-end properties and all the high-end properties and all the transactions, it's the one that's in the middle. The median sale price was $465,000 um, in 2019. It took 28 days to get most of the properties sold. Um, there were 1,448 homes listed and 1,359 homes sold. That's almost a one-for-one -one ratio, which is why you see it only took 28 days. In other words, the way to look at that is, there was a one month supply of homes available to search for. Now in 2020, you can see here, the median sale price went up to $500,000. So from last year to this year, you can see we rose up $35,000 in the median sale price. The days on market, the homes listed, the homes sold, about the same. But what's interesting, go ahead and click, is that from here to here, go ahead, is the median sale price rose $35,000 for 7%. That's pretty big. In one year, we rose in prices by 7%. So why would it be a good time to buy? By the way, this is a great time to sell, right? So we'll talk about the buy in a second, but right now we want to establish, I think you can all agree that that means that it's a good time to sell. Prices have gone up, which means that selling today versus selling a year ago, you're going to make more money. All right, let's go to the next one. So how do the stats look in terms of interest rates? Now I went online and I Googled, what are the interest rates in the past 10 years, 20 years, whatever, just historical interest rates. And what you find is, oh, next, uh, back in 2019, the average rate interest rate was 4.25%. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna quote you interest rates. My lender said, I'm not gonna come and be on this Facebook Live because there's so many disclosures, there's so many criteria that have to come into play as to what we can quote somebody as an interest rate. So in your particular case, you need to talk to your lender, to look at the, your credit score and how much money you make and you know your, your credit worthiness and all that stuff. So we're just gonna go with averages for our example so that we can kind of use a level playing field. But if you want specifics, we need to get you in touch with a lender. All right, so let's just keep going with this. 2019, 4.25 was the average rate. Go ahead and hit next. And so this, I just Googled this yesterday, 
um, and I just said, what's today's average interest rate? And Wells Fargo had this little tab, go ahead and hit next, and you can see the average interest rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage was 3.25. Um, you can't see it because it's probably really blurry, but I can see it, and I'm trust me. Um, 15 years, 2.875, seven year, seven one arm is 5.625, and a 10 year arm is 2.75. So you can see there's a broad range of interest rates, but we're gonna use that 30 year fixed interest rate of 3.25, because it makes easy math compared to our 4.25. So this is actually what the historical trend looks like. You can see back in the 80s, that's when stuff was really expensive, right? Borrowing money was really expensive. And then here in the early 90s, you can see things were, my first interest rate when I bought a house was at 9%, second mortgage was at 13%. That was back here. And you can see the prices have gone up and down and up and down, and they're really, they've been kind of low, like you click next. And you can't see it because it's a little bit um, light for the camera, but we're around 3.25%, which is what we looked at here, uh, in 2020. Now, realistically, I have clients that are buying homes right now at 3%, even 2.99 or 2.875. So there's some really, really great interest rates right now. And I'm gonna keep talking about interest rates because really, that's where the deal is. But we're gonna find out what that means. All right, go ahead and hit next. So we're gonna establish for the purposes of this conversation, 2019 average interest rate was 4.25%. And the interest rate today in 2020 is ranging between 2.75 and 3.25. So we're going to use the high end at 3.25%. Is that okay? Great. Now, this is where the really, really interesting math comes into play. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible so that we can all understand why the deal is actually in the interest rate. So first things first, let's throw up our table. And we're going to have scenario A and scenario B. Well, it says A, that's supposed to say B, that's a typo, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, let's go ahead and click next. <clears throat> so in 2020, the uh, prices, the median sale price is $500,000 in our local market in Montgomery County, Maryland. In 2019, it was $465,000, which means the difference was 7%. So from 2019 to 2020, we rose by 7%, in this case, $35,000. <coughs> Now, our interest rate today, 3.25%. Amazing. It's like free money. All right, uh, next we have 2019, 4.25%. Difference, of course, is a 1% drop in interest rate. 1% difference. Really, really important to understand that this is the key to the whole conversation. Let's go ahead. Down payment, we're gonna assume we're gonna do a conventional loan with 3.5% down. Yes, they exist, uh, or an FHA loan. Go ahead. That's going to be the same for either scenario, so there's no change. And then finally, the most important part of this, when I take my sale price, when I take my down payment, I'm going to look at my monthly payments, my principal and interest only, because we can't really compare what the taxes and insurance are going to be because we don't know like what house we're looking at. So we're just using a generic situation. And in this particular generic situation, we're again, we're just looking at principal and interest only. So if I were to buy a $500,000 house with 3.25% interest rate and putting 3.5% down, my mortgage payment is going to be $2,105.31. Now again, that's only principal interest. You have to add taxes and insurance to that. Now here's the interesting thing. That number seems like it's a really big number. And if you compared it to a year ago, well, we're borrowing $35,000 or buying a house for $35,000 more, we would expect that this is actually gonna be a higher payment, but watch what happens. In the scenario of 2019 at four and a half, four and a quarter percent interest rate, guess what? We're at $2,207.46. You know what that difference is? It's just over $100. So you can see that even though the house price has risen by 7%, because of the drop in the interest rate, our mortgage payment is actually $100 less today than it was a year ago, even though home sale prices are higher. So the question is, is it a good time to sell or is it a good time to buy? Guess what? It's a good time to sell and it's a great time to buy. Because after all, you don't live in how much you pay for a house, you live in how much the mortgage payment is every month, right? That's the money that you have to come up with when your job, 
and that you make every month, and that you spend to actually pay your mortgage so that you can stay in your house. So I don't know about you, but I would rather spend $2,105 rather than $2,207 every month for my mortgage. So it's really, really important to understand that the interest rate is actually where the secret lies behind the deal. So a summary analysis of what we're talking about. First, we have, even though house prices are higher today, they're less expensive to own on a monthly basis. So we kind of really cover that. And it's such, such, such an important topic. And next, we have a one, and this is why it's so important to realize what's happening. A 1% change from 4% to 3%, right? It's only a 1% difference. But it's really a value of 25% of the interest rate that was dropped, right? Because one out of four percent, one percent out of four percent is a quarter or twenty-five percent. Really, really important. I mean, think about that, right? So another way to look at it is if we're borrowing, we're buying a house for five hundred thousand dollars, only putting three and a half percent down, and our our payment is twenty one oh five, that means it's about every uh, every thousand dollars you're borrowing, you're only spending like five bucks. So if you borrow an extra ten thousand dollars, you're only spending an extra fifty bucks a month. Which is why right now you see so many people that are making multiple offer situations and they're bidding up that price on the house, and that's okay because adding an extra ten thousand dollars to your offer only increases it by about fifty bucks. So it's really, really powerful to understand the value of that interest rate and the value of the discount. So the interest rate is the deal right now. And that the good news is whether you're buying or selling, it applies to you, right? So buying, it seems obvious, right? We've kind of covered that. But selling, why does that benefit you? It benefits you because more buyers are able to buy your house now than ever before. This is the lowest interest rates we've ever seen in our lives. And that is a good thing for buyers because it means they can afford more home, but it's a great thing for sellers because there's more buyers able to purchase their home and what happens when you sell, usually you're gonna wind up buying something else. So you might wind up downsizing, you might wind up upsizing, whatever it is, or right sizing, whatever it is, you get to take advantage of that same interest rate, maybe not spend all of the money you got from the sale of your home, and use that interest rate to buy more house on the backside. Finally, we have when interest rates go back up, you miss the deal of your lifetime. So everybody's always like, well, I'm gonna wait till interest rates drop. I'm gonna wait till interest rates drop. Guess what? They dropped. So now is actually the time when you really wanna jump into the market and buy a home. I believe this so much so that I'm under contract right now for another investment property for my portfolio. All right, let's keep going. So, do you want the deal? The first thing we need to do is let's talk. Give me a call, 301-200-1232, or you can call me on my office line at 301-251-1221, but text me or direct message me at 301-200-1232. I would love to talk to you about this. Next, we'll get you in touch with top lenders to get you the best deals, the best rates. Something around that 3%, we don't know. We have to see your particular situation, but the fact of the matter is it's gonna be really, really awesome. Then, we'll help you to find the perfect place that you call home so, and we'll do that through our free buyer consultation. So it's something that we do for everybody that's thinking about buying. We actually have a Zoom call and we go through about like 70 questions with you to find out exactly what makes your home perfect for you. Then uh, we'll look at all available homes online and in person. So we do do uh, virtual showings with the phone, just like you're doing now, uh, but we also do in person. We have a really severe regimen for sanitation hand sanitizer, masks, um, gloves even, and things like that. And we'll help you find the one home. Now next, we'll help you negotiate the best offer. Sometimes the best offer is the lowest price. Sometimes the best offer has other terms that matter more to you or more to the seller. And so keep in mind that the best deal isn't always the best price. Right now we know interest rate is the best deal. Finally, once we negotiate the best deal for you, 
uh, will be able to help you take advantage of that rate, of that rate, excuse me, the best rate of your lifetime and get you to own your own home now in 2020. So if you're interested in talking, uh, make sure you text or direct message me. Um, there's my number, 301-200-1232. Um, I would love to connect with you and talk with you a little bit more about why this is the best time to um, buy a house. It's also the best time to sell a house. So if you're interested in either buying or selling, we should have a conversation, right? This information is really, really powerful. It's available online. And of course, you can have a conversation with me to get all the details about your specific situation. I'm Alex Sanger with Keller Williams Capital Properties, located here in the heart of Montgomery County in Rockville, Maryland, serving the entire Washington, D.C. metro area. If you haven't subscribed to my channel or to my Facebook or to my Instagram or to my YouTube, be sure to do that. We'd love to see you and we'd love to have our conversation with you next. Talk to you soon.